Meet the guys from KVA Effects, a Los Angeles-based visual effects company. This is Jeff. He's the boss. Today, they're testing the limits of electrical engineering in an unprecedented feat, building a gun that shoots a lightning bolt. If we can actually direct a lightning bolt with this gun, we can open up a whole new range of possibilities for using electricity. In their pursuit of a 21st century weapon, the guys from KVA are relying on a 19th century invention, a Tesla coil. A Tesla coil is a kind of lightning machine. Like a menacing storm cloud, it builds up an electrical charge imbalance, commonly known as voltage, which becomes so great that it leaps into the air, creating a path for itself to return to the ground. Nikola Tesla originally developed a Tesla coil to transmit power without wires. To illustrate that, I'm holding in my hand, with no wires, a regular fluorescent bulb. Now, once we turn the Tesla coil on, the bulb lights with no wires at all. What is lighting the bulb is the electric field around the Tesla coil. The concepts behind the Tesla coil are best seen on the 12-foot monster as it begins to take shape. Basically, we have ground potential at the bottom, and we're developing 1.2 million volts at the top. That voltage is stored for a very brief time in the metal donut. That serves as a temporary storage capacitor for the few milliseconds where the high voltage is built up. And then it breaks out of the top and leaps over to this grounded target. The reason the electricity wants to leap from the Tesla coil to a grounded target is because the Tesla coil is actually sucking the electricity from the ground, increasing its voltage and spraying it out the top where it wants to reconnect with ground and complete the circuit. But trying to accurately direct the bolt of lightning through the air without wires is like trying to herd cats. It's difficult to predict a path for electricity through air, mostly because air is a poor conductor of electricity. It's mostly nitrogen, which is inert, and it's in motion. So finding a conductive path through the air uh, is difficult. The guys from KVA Effects think they've figured out a solution. Instead of wires, they'll try to direct the electricity on a stream of pure argon gas. If the argon experiment works, two million volts of electricity will be channeled across 10 feet of space and fired into this metal target. Unlike our more reactive atmosphere, argon provides very little resistance to electricity. The idea is that this argon conduit will act as a kind of virtual wire. The trick will be coupling the argon stream with the chaotic electrical storm as it discharges from the top of the Tesla coil. This is our argon source. We'll fill this up to 3,000 PSI and then at the correct moment, we're gonna fire this valve. This valve basically will dump all this argon through the tube apparatus. We are plumbing this gas down through a copper tube into a nozzle which sits inside the glass tube here. This nozzle will project a stream of argon gas towards the target. Because this argon is a lot less resistive and a lot more conductive than the air that surrounds it, we can then direct the lightning and have it go where we want it to go. That's the theory, at least. Getting it to work in practice is a long shot. Well, I think our chances are in 30, 40% range of success. A two million volt, 20 foot long lightning bolt is also dangerous. I intend to never find out what happens when someone gets hit by that much electricity. Okay, you're ready. All clear. Okay, I'm starting the coil. Main breaker the on. Tesla coil is powered up. Control breaker on. The coil is ready in three, two, one. An impressive looking failure, but a failure nonetheless. 
Although there's some movement into the Argonne stream, the lightning, as always, finds its own path straight to the ground. Take two. Still, no dice. We found some difficulties with the fact that even though argon gas is a lot more conductive than air, the sparks still wanted to go to the shortest ground, which was right down the insulator into the earth underneath the coil. After some adjustments, a third and final attempt. Coil is ready in three. Two, one. Finally, success. That's the way it's supposed to work. That's what's supposed to happen. Sparks flying across the room, following the gas to the target. That was it. Yeah, we're all really excited, actually. The lightning bolt actually did follow the argon stream, and we have proved that, uh, that we can create a conduit of argon gas through which the electricity will flow. Nikola Tesla would be proud. Taming lightning, even for a few seconds, is an awesome achievement. But would a lightning gun actually make an effective weapon? The need for a massive voltage inductor and a complex conduit system makes such a weapon impractical at best. But even a crude lightning gun would have one distinct advantage. Electricity is one of those universal fears. Everyone fears a lightning bolt. You know that if, if there is thunder in the skies, you should run home. And the psychological effect of seeing a lightning bolt coming at you would be absolutely terrifying. That's why it's perfect for our overactive imaginations. And our perhaps irrational fear of an alien invasion.